What's up, ball fam? What is going on? Good afternoon, RWA, you boy. Jordan Trask, back from another video here, and this is Dolphins Hate Week number two, after number one. Now on to number two of Dolphins Hate Week, so, and thoughts on the Chargers-Dolphins game of week number one. Um, is coming up in LA and SoFi Stadium in week one for our matchup between the Chargers and Dolphins, so before I talk about it, um, as we get into Dolphins Hate Week number two from number one, um, we saw a lot of sad news that one of the singing leaders ever in Smash Mouth history, Stephen Harwell, has passed away at the age of 56, so it's sad to see, but rest in peace, Steve Harwell, so he's one of the greatest singing leader ever in Smash Mouth history, so yeah, um, so that's why he's one of the greatest singing leader ever in Smash Mouth history in the world of Smash Mouth to Steve Harwell because he will be missed so yeah um, I just want to let you all know that um, we want to wish you a happy um, Labor Day because yeah it's Labor Day today so I want to wish you all a happy Labor Day so yeah so I hope you all have an have an enjoyment of enjoying the Labor Day weekend so Hope you all enjoyed the Labor Day weekend. So yeah. Alright, so gotta get into the Chargers Dolphins preview from Dolphins Hate Week number two after number one from yesterday. Um so as we get into more into these, so it'll be just a Herbert and to a tug of Iowa twice this year from last year. Um uh, already right now, so you guys want to check that out. So including to what I told you about the Dolphin fans, I know, was D1 Chosen and Gaffin 136 is who I know. Is D1 Chosen and Gaffin 136. And Dolphington, so, yeah, to Dolphington and D1 Chosen, Gaffin 136 is what other Dolphin fans I know. Is Dolphington, because he's the biggest Miami Dolphin fan ever in the world. So, but this year from last year will be another debate between Justin Herbert and Tua Takabaiwa. So, so you go against most of the Dolphin players you know is Jalen Waddle and Bradley Chubb, Taron Armstead, and then Jalen Ramsey, Eli Apple, Tyree Pill, and the rest of them. Because you, you know, we still have Josh Palmer. He's going to be our wide receiver number three for week one. Because Ben Johnson's our rookie. So, what depends on that, Corey Lindsley, um, and then Jordan McFadden, Rashawn Slater, Zion Johnson, you know? But yeah. Trey Pipkins the third is what you know. So, yeah. I have to say this for now, so, what depends on my point either, because, you know, like we've talked about it, so like I told you from yesterday, I cannot stand with Miami, Florida sports teams, especially the Miami Heat, because I'm an LA Clipper fan. I can't stand the Heat, um, as, uh, as already always. So, yeah, but you know, I already told you like yesterday, I can't stand the Heat because I'm a Clippers fan, so I cannot stand the Miami Heat. And who else? The Miami Marlins, I'd be fine with them if I dislike them at the end of the season of baseball, but because I'm an Angels fan since they swept us. In May, and Inter Miami because I'm an LA Galaxy fan and I like Lionel Messi because he's a soccer player in Miami with Inter Miami. Um, Inter Miami CF as you're entering the year, so you know it. Because you know, like we told you, everyone, this is Dolphins Hate Week number one and number two of the year before week one on September 10th at 1:25 p.m. kickoff. In SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. And also, just a reminder, Bowl fam, um, you will be ready for the Jersey retirement ceremony between one of the legends from the Chargers from the past and present, Kellen Winslow and Charlie Joyner. You are going to love this. So, it's going to be a good game here in LA. So, we can beat Miami twice a year. So, just like last year to this year. Because, you know, so shout out to my fellow Charger fans, to Joyce Matia, Anthony Matia, Sony Matia, Modog, Oceanside Boys, 760, LA Original, and the rest of the Charger fans I absolutely know. So yeah, um, 
And also including uh, Dizzy, of course. And then Nathan Rivera, of course. There is more Charger fans that I have. As much we have more. So, all right. Because Keenan Allen, Mike Williams are ready. So does Bradley Chubb and Taron Armstead in the defense. But depends on that. Um, see? That's why the Dolphins have a back and quarterback with Mike White. And also, Joey Bosa, Cleo Mack, Eric Kendricks, Tuli, Tui Paluto, Sebastian Joseph Day, and Morgan Fox, Darwin James, and Eloy Gilman, Asani Samuel Jr., J.C. Jackson. That's who we have. Cameron Dicker, the kicker, and then J.K. Scott, because we don't need Dustin Hopkins anymore because he's a Cleveland Brown now. But also, we have Tanner Muse. See, like I told you yesterday, because we got rid of Xander Horvath, because he's signed, um, but because of that, he just signed with the Steelers for, for sure, because Xander Horvath wants to be a Steeler. Because, you know, we send, just like how we send Derek Watt to Pittsburgh with his brother, TJ Watt, as dependable. And also, with Max Duggan and then Jordan McFadden, for some good reasons. And also, there is more guys upcoming for the Chargers team to do with the deal. And then Isaiah Spiller and Elijah Dodson, Josh Kelly. That's who they have. And then Raheem Mostert on the on this Dolphins team, I know, is Raheem Mostert. Because even depends on the, on the details right now. Because, you know, we win this week one to go 1-0 for the Chargers against the Miami Dolphins team because no Jalen Ramsey, that means... We're taking down Miami again, like last year to this year. But for for some of the reasons, um, oh, and let's not forget about how someone wants to stand with Miami sports, but Florida. But you know, my um, my opinions to this, but especially the Florida Panthers, because I am a Ducks fan, because I just get with the Florida Panthers for some reason. But you know, even if I want to tell you this, so just to let you know. This week one matchup is in LA, like last year's week 14 Sunday end matchup, but now we play him again and we're taking him down with no Jalen Ramsey. Cause you know, cause you all know this, cause y'all know how you want to lose a playoff game last year to Buffalo cause you can't brag about us how we lose another playoff game cause we cannot talk about it. This is all about Charger football. This is what we want to do. Another Super Bowl season or bust for my beloved football team, the Los Angeles Chargers. So, bolt up, and let's go Chargers. So, so I want to get into more of this before I get going. Um, you know, I think Justin Herbert's a better quarterback than Toa Takabayla. But still, then so does Skylar Thompson, whoever that quarterback was from last year's season. Who knows about that back and quarterback with Tua? But especially... To Quentin Johnson and Josh Palmer and Jalen Guyton because we don't have Jalen Guyton on our team because he's injured. He'd be fine for that because, you know, he'll be okay. And there is more reason I want to tell you. with The other quarterbacks with the backup with Max Duggan for Justin Herbert is Easton Stick. Because, you know, we won two preseason games against the LA Rams and then one loss against the Saints. Can't talk about that. But we talked about two preseason wins before we go 1-0 this season against Miami. Because, you know... I know a lot of Dolphin fans who I know is all these Dolphin fans is who I know. From our Charger fans to know these Dolphin fans. From our Charger fans of Bull fam, Charger Nation, Bulls Nation, everyone knows it. Because, you know, this is all about Charger football. Because, you know, it's about. It's about Chargers football. But guess what, everyone? It's time for Charger football, and let's get this week one started on Sunday. Because... It's a Jersey retirement day for the legends, Charlie Joyner and Kellen Winslow. Shout out to both of these legends to give them a shout out. And you know, it's any day at this point, so. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but we're good. Always. And you know, what depends on my point is trying to lock out Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill because I don't know what's up with Tyree Kill because of the situation, because we can't talk about that. Because, you know, because Eli Apple, he's washed up quarterback as a defensive back, like I told you. Eli Apple is the most washed 
defensive back in the NFL. Because I know this Chargers team will beat Miami twice from last year to this year. So I got any more wars before I get gone. So by the way, to my fellow ball fam and Charger fans and Charger Nation, we're going back-to-back 1-0 -back this season, just like last year against the Raiders. But this year, we're taking down Miami to go 1-0 this season of the 2023 NFL season of the regular season. So believe that or not, let's get this started. And it's time for Charger football, folks, because we're about to get this going. So I got last words to say, but let's be prepared for week one. And Because guess what? Dolphins hate week number two from number one has began already. So anyway, you guys, I'm out. It's your boy, Jordan Trask. Peace out. Bolt up and go Chargers. But yeah, especially bolt up, go Chargers. Peace out. Bolt up.